and cry and I, what are you talking about? Well, at least here. Well, anyway, good afternoon, evening, everyone. This is Tessa Spade today. Welcome to Friday, August 23rd, 2024. A 236. Oh yeah, Mr. Krabs. I'm feeling okay. Other than it is. It is, uh, do I have an angry fit? Yes, oh, I kind of have it. Ew. Uh, that is a terrible. I, it is just very hot outside right now. It, like, it's... IRL, it is... One well, not... It's 109 right now, and it's not supposed to go down any further until, like, it's not going to drop below 100 degrees until after 9 o'clock at night tonight. So it is still about knowing that the time of recording right now, it's like, so I want to say it's, um, six, well, no, no, at the time of recording, it's 6.20 p.m. And... My goodness, is it hot. It is so, so hot. I do not like it. It is, it is no good. I had to walk over the... Oh, something happened out there. Something about good jaw. It means, it means sweet pea did something very good. It may not have heard it. And that is okay. Oh, I have. Uh, uh... Oh, I'm gonna put that in storage. Honey! Uh, what is this? Oh, right, I was gonna put that on a wall. And a mom's slushy. I miss Tara's mom. She'd be quiet. We, she would love this game. Still, just as much to do compared to like. Uh, let's see. Oh, no. Oh, there we go. And I'll put the plushie right here. Oh my goodness, what is this slushy? What is this? <laughs> that is... Oh wow, that's uh... Adorable and kind of creepy. At the same time, it's like multiple things at once. Oh, let's see, in my pockets I still have those. Let me get rid of these. Wait, uh, I love uh, there are, again, there are two reasons I am not. Um, there are two reasons I am not in VR right now, so... Again, um, I'm sorry I'm not in VR. For one, it is just, it is way too hot outside for me to be doing VR right now. Oh, and the heat is now seeped into the room. I ran a little bit late because of reasons. Oh, so now I did get over to the, uh, store and you found a chain to put on Buttercup's closet. So we're gonna, we're gonna chain lock that closet so Sweet Pea stops sitting in there and displaying things. Hang on, I gotta hear... Okay, well, apparently I was anticipating too much. Look at all these weeds. Oh, there we go, let's pick that one up too. Maybe we can go diving. Maybe, maybe I'll try to get one scallop in a minute. One, just one scallop. One scallop, please. please sir, I'd like a scallop. And we... I'm gonna ask you, the fellow viewers, have you ever had... Fresh scallops off like the fisherman's wharf. Scallops, oh my goodness. Oh, this is what we get for not playing very much. Oh boy. I know I'm on the wrong month and everything, but what are you doing? Let's, let's sell the cinnamon pockets real quick and then I'm gonna go take the swimsuit off. I'll go to the I'll go and find some clothes. I want to get one scallop while we're here. If I have time, because like I said, it's 6.23 p.m. right now. Um, ooh, anybody want a race car bed? <laughs> Tara, do you want a race <laughs> Yeah, Tara, you want a race car bed? Oh, uh, boy. All right, that's why I have that snapper. Oh, it was tambourine and a, le a, a Lenny cosplay set. Not really, it's just playing cards. It's a deck of cards. Magic. What was, um...
If that's taking off real quick, that's what I'm wearing right now. Let's go see what they have over at the Able Sisters. Then the wetsuit goes back home, and we get our scallop for the day. Tara's upset with me when it comes to this game, and in a playful way, because he cannot get anything from the Mermaid series. I start playing, and I get stuff from the Mermaid series. He only gets pearls. Oh yeah, I need to say hello. I okay. Oh, I thought that was a sports bra. Let's see what they have today. What do you have? You have... Oh, uh, let's... Oh. It's a sleeveless parka. And a vampire costume. For some reason. Uh... Bombers? Oh, wow. Okay. That's weird. And let's see. Festival style tank dress. A ninja costume. Messy hair. See, um, <laughs> this stuff is all terrible. So I'm just gonna leave it there. Just gonna leave it there. Uh, I will try to get the scale. I I'm a little faster time because I still need to get all this up before it's too late. And then, of course, I need to... Oh. Oh, what have I done? There are so many weeds. Oh, there's so many weeds. And I want that scallop. And yes, as I was asking, has anyone had this fresh scallops off the Christian's Wharf? I, I've never gone diving for them, neither is small. Obviously, Tara has never gone diving for actual scallops. We have fresh scallops, though. They're all, all fresh scallops are so good. Well, just, and the funny thing is, though, we don't like oysters and clams. We do not like the taste of oysters and clams. But I will say, uh, we, we, we really, really enjoy the taste of, uh, scallops. Not as good as ocean fish, though. I'll tell you right now, I, I'm not really that big on freshwater fish. I like my ocean fish, but I, I guess that's me just being, having grown up being pampered as a little valley girl. Happily having like red snappers, swordfish, sea bass, and well, I count salmon in there because salmon starts in the ocean too. But we only get tilapia or tilapia because it's cheap. But if I could, I'd, I'd be getting a snapper so much more often. There, there are plenty of other fish I have not tried, but I love ocean fish. I'm not really big on crawfish, but I do like lobster, but none of them compare to crab. I love snow crab and king crab. They're just way too good to pass up. I, I wish, I wish I could get a giant spider crab and eat that. I would love to eat a spider crab and see how it tastes, not to mention just, you know, I have nine foot long spider crab legs for dinner. Oh, oh, that would be really, really good. That would be really, really good. I, I, I would be really happy if I had some, some uh, spider crab. But I, the unfortunate thing is that it. Snow, the snow crab's not too bad, but bean crab it is, is bad. It's really expensive to have. And for a long time, when I was younger, lobster was the expensive one to have. But now it kind of seems like lobster is the more affordable commodity of the two foods. Like, king crab is like, what is it, 14 or $20 a pound or something like that? I, there, I mean, there is no way I can afford having king crab. Snow crab's not. A snow crab is cheaper at the store. Uh, and unfortunately, I'm talking to the frozen stuff. There's no way we're going to have the... The fresh stuff. We we live too far inland to to have fresh claw bean, bean crab or even snow crab or any crab really. I mean, I mean if we try to go far south and go to like the the, the um what what is that the like the Texas Gulf like the Gulf Texas or whatever. I I, I guess we could try going there and try to see if they have any 
it'd be fresh crab, but I think it would be more similar to blue crab. But I, I will say, Tara does not like blue crab. We don't like blue crab, but it's more of a, uh, it's more of a personal reason. And that would be because in August, it was in August 2007, when Tara was in, uh, he, he, he finished boot camp, he was in his, he was in, uh, his Navy A school. And, uh, they made his entire barracks, like, every morning, they'd, they'd uh, be up at zero four in the morning to do their, their morning workouts, and because we were right next to the Navy SEALs train, like, one of the Navy SEALs training facilities, we had some RDAs or some instructors for the MAs who were... Let's just say they didn't want to be shown up by Navy SEALs. So they made us work out as far as the SEALs or they tried to. And that would be a why a lot of the females in our barracks have broken hips and broken backs. There were a lot of, of leg, hip, and back injuries. In, in his barracks in that year. That was uh, 2007. But uh, the reason why Tara does not like blue crab is we, we were in Virginia. We were in Virginia that year. And Virginia, especially Virginia Beach, is really well known for blue crab. It's a really popular thing to have over there, especially over at the uh, Virginia Beach boardwalk. They had a really good um, blue crab place over there. But Tara... He eats blue crabs because one morning they were working out and it was finally about zero six. Hey, lo Scalo. Yay. See, what does he tell us today? Hey, man. How about that scout? Can I have it? Yeah, it's yours. You can have it. But, um, okay, let's see what he says first. Then I'll go on about this blue crab story. I, I have to be nice. Okay. Please, then, please use my favorite line I've only seen from you once, Pascal. Ah, you need those apps to keep feeling like ordering an entree. They're filling us up on bread, man. Okay. Okay, so, uh, to sidetrack really quick. My favorite, uh, well, from Pascal I've ever seen in this game is like, he listen, and he just goes, Whales, man. <laughs> Whales. That was it. But, uh, anyway, back to, back to telling Tara's story. It was finally about zero six in the morning. They, they had all done their, uh, two mile, what was it? Two mile run on, on the beachfront in, uh, damn that, Virginia. And no, no, I'm not cursing. That does not count. That is literally the name of the beach. And it's, hey, look. Wow. But no, um, it, it was the name of the beach and the name of his ace. And he was stationed at for his A training, or, or his ace pool. And, uh, they were all, they made everyone, you know, kind of link arms and do sit-ups together out of the crab. And as they were doing sit-ups, Tara just jumps up and they, they accuse him of screaming like a little girl. Well, it was warranted death for him to scream like a little girl because as they walk over, they see that there's a blue crab latched on to his, um, his bits and pieces. Yeah, you, you know, his male bits and pieces, more of the spherical ones. Yeah, there were, there was a blue crab and, and if it was one of the, it, it wasn't a baby. It wasn't a baby crab, but I don't know if it was an adult. It was, it was an old age sized crab. Well, I would say it was just, Kind of dangling while well, his claw, its poor its claw was just latched on to Tara's bits and pieces. So someone, as they uh, help take the crab off his, um, his bits and pieces, and they just throw it in the water and then told him to STFU. And that was the end of it. And since then, Tara has had an L for blue crabs. One thing he does really like, but, you, you know, he, he's not ever going to eat them, are the, uh, the horseshoe crabs. He, he does like those. He finds them very fascinating. And, uh, that year, there were so, so many on that beach. And they're like, they're, they were there, I'd say, say, probably by the thousands. And they'd just come up on shore, and a seagull would come over, flip it over, tack its guts out, and then leave it there. 
Seagulls are mean. We don't like seagulls anyway. Seagulls are, well, they're jerks. Seagulls are jerks. But yeah, that, that's, the, that's the story of why Terra does not like blue crab. The whole reason why is because he got pinched on, the, on his, uh, his berries. The left berry, to be precise. Everything for him is always the left berry. But that's all. There are so many stories about his left berry. And it's torture. Yeah, berry torture, if you will. He has many stories of berry torture. Willing and unwilling. Mostly unwilling. I, I think I said too much. I could be happy with me about it, mentioning too much. He's only with, with, with me mentioning the blue brow story, though. Because if you think about it, that, that was... Was like 17 years ago. Yeah, that was over 17 years ago. Wow, and it's, it, it's really been that long? Oh, oh man. It's been 17 years. Oh, well, that's a thing. Well, anyway, I, I'm gonna go ahead. I have to leave it here because I've definitely rambled a lot longer than I was planning. So I hope everyone's had fun hearing about the stories of Tara's um, bits of berry torture. <laughs> it's a very torture, yeah. Anyway, this is Tessa Spade on your Friday, August 23rd, 2024. Oh, it almost exactly 17 years after the Blue Crab incident. But it's still, it's still day 236. But we will see you all tomorrow on Saturday. So long, everyone.